An unannounced Halo release has been in development since April of 2022 and utilizing the Unreal 5 engine on making player system and assets. This is coming from Idle Sloth on Twitter. He just kind of found some information on LinkedIn profiles, meaning this isn't some type of speculation. This is actual information from actual employees on what's happening with the franchise. Because when you look on Justin Dings, if I pronounce that correctly, LinkedIn profile says since April of 2022, he's worked on an unannounced Halo release. And this guy has been working with 343 for 12 years as a game director and art director. Now a release can really mean anything. It could be an update to Halo Infinite. It could be a little expansion for the game. It could be its own spinoff or something like that. But when you title it as Halo's next unannounced release, I'm thinking that's a full game. And we know that 343 has ambitions beyond Infinite as a community director sketch said on an interview recently, which we covered previously on the channel. If you guys are not following, make sure you tap subscribe. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything going with Halo. Tap like the you know, YouTube stuff. A very interesting thing is that a senior character designer listed that they are building player system and assets within Unreal Engine 5, which falls directly in line with Jason Schreier, who's one of the most credible, if not the most credible insider of gaming information and news saying that 343 is looking to pivot to the Unreal Engine. Now utilizing the Unreal Engine to make assets and player systems doesn't necessarily mean that the gameplay itself is going to be on the Unreal Engine. The Master Chief Collection uses the Unreal Engine. Ever wondered why in the Master Chief Collection when you look at your items within the UI and it looks all shiny and gold but when you jump into the game itself it just doesn't quite look the same? That's because the UI and the unifying elements of the Master Chief Collection utilize Unreal Engine 4. Though we have heard leaks and rumors talking about the gameplay itself of the next Halo game being on the Unreal Engine, just because it's easier to develop in, the Blam Engine is over 20 years old, some of the tools that 343 has to use to make Halo games are really old, kind of outdated. I mean, they talked about it in length when it comes to developing Halo Infinite, going down to like the base level of the game, reworking a lot of the code that's been hidden in there for 20 plus years. This also does give us a little bit of hope that we will begin a Halo game in less than six years compared to the Halo 5 to Halo Infinite gap. Of course, this also is the nature of leaks and rumors that when you hear information, you have to know, okay, they're utilizing the Unreal Engine in some capacity. Is it going to be a complete switch over to the gameplay to Unreal? Possibly, we don't know for sure, but we pretty much know now as a fact that the Unreal Engine will be utilized in the next Halo game. It will be very interesting to see what 343 does for the next Halo game, as I do feel like, and I do think the community agrees with me on this one, that they kind of nailed it on the multiplayer side of things, finally, after 10 years of development with the Halo franchise, that the Halo Infinite feels great, plays great, like yeah, we got the networking update, which should be making things a lot better, but like, that's how I would want my Halo to play out in 2024. It's exactly what Halo Infinite's multiplayer is. So is it gonna be something where like the campaign releases and it kind of ties into Halo Infinite's multiplayer in some way? We'll just have to wait and see. I'm really excited about it. I just really hope that when it comes to the story elements or the campaign side of things, that it just continues on the story of Halo Infinite because Halo Infinite just set itself up so great to have different campaign DLCs and expansions and just new forms of storytelling that we've never seen within the Halo franchise and just, man, I just, there was just so much potential there and I would just hate to see 343 hit the reset button again when it comes to the Halo franchise to just Give us something to do some kind of new ambitious thing with Halo. It seems to be 343's motive when it comes to this franchise. Every new game is, this is the most ambitious, craziest, newest thing you've never seen within Halo. But we just want like a good Halo, solid Halo experience. And we got that with Halo Infinite, which is weird because they laid off a bunch of people because Halo Infinite didn't perform well. So they had to just focus on the multiplayer. But all I think players really want is just more Halo Infinite. Again, we'll just have to wait and see. Next, we have some confirmed Season 6 leaks that have just been released by this YouTube channel called Delta Archive. They're also known as the same kind of thing on Twitter as well. They post a lot of leaked content on their channel so you guys can keep up to date whenever that stuff happens. I don't feel like risking my entire channel for the biscuit so I will tell you what that's on their reports but I'm not going to be able to show you everything right now at least. As I'm not the biggest fan of reporting leaks but this information is out there in the wild and people are talking about it so I want to keep you guys up to date. In Season 6 we'll be receiving a new arena map called Illusion, which the description of the map says, are your eyes playing tricks on you? And within Delta Archives reporting, it says that there is 
part of the map where you walk into it and then makes players invisible. Sounds super fun. I like to see 343 lean more into that social aspect of Halo because the launch maps were so static in the way they were built really more for a competitive balanced experience because well they had to release the same maps for ranked modes as well. But now ranked has plenty of maps to play around with. Now the social side of things can get their maps to kind of test around and have some more fun aspects and play around with some more interesting designs like Chasm for example might not be your favorite but it definitely is a different experience experience and a different type of style for a map, which I like. It'd be interesting to see how the camo aspects work on this map. There will also be a new forge map called Skyport, and the image that they showcase is not really anything that really details the map of what we can really expect of it, though it does look to be much more of an arena map. It has this really cool looking, like almost cyberpunk style art style to the whole thing. I'm really digging it. Another forge map called Corrosion, which looks to be kind of like a large scale 4v4 map or a smaller size square squad battle map. There are no vehicles that are in this image that they have for the map, but it does look pretty interesting. Though it does look like there'll be another dev map called Elevation, which looks to be a 4v4 multiplayer map that's set on a space elevator. No word that there'll be low G like there is like on Cairo Station when you walk outside, but you'll definitely be able to fall off into space. Another map they showcase, which is going to be coming within Season 6, is definitely going to be a new squad battle map, and that map is Relic from Halo 2. An absolute classic of a map that looked amazing back in Halo 2 Anniversary, played so great back in the classic Halo days, and seeing it come back in Halo Infinite, well, I'm really looking forward to this. Now, to do share information about the seasons after Season 6 as well, like 7 and 8 possibly, one of those leaks being a new big team battle map that's dev-made called Rock Ridge, which is kind of like a desert area, rather flat in its elevation, nothing too crazy. But the most interesting thing about this map is that it looks like the Falcon will be on the map Rock Ridge, which We've covered the Falcon leak for what over a year now at this point. But from what Delta Archive showcases, it looks pretty much ready to go, which gets me really happy about this. As a Falcon stand myself, I just cannot wait. It's my favorite vehicle ever put into Halo because basically it's a tank that flies in the air. But from the leaks and rumors that we've seen of the Falcon, there will be two different turrets on the left and right side. On the right side has a machine gun, on the left side has a grenade launcher, kind of combining both of the Falcons we had back in Reach into one. Now, when I say Rock Ridge, is is flat. It's not completely flat like a plane. There definitely is some elevation differences to give yourself some height advantage if you want to take that into a gunfight, but nothing too crazy we're going to have to like run out of mouse pad space to look up or down. The map is very open though. There is very little cover from aerial attack, say if there was a Banshee or a Falcon or a Wasp. So if the Falcon is going to be on that map Rock Ridge, there has to be a good way to counteract it, put maybe some skewers on the map, maybe a decent amount of shock sticks out there as well, just to kind of counter counter it a little bit because I can see the Falcon being pretty much uncontested with this map design. A new piece of equipment called Stasis Field which kind of acts like a little miniature black hole which gets me a little concerned. We saw what happened with Destiny when they introduced the Stasis Field and multiplayer players hated it. But essentially what this looks to be is like a you shoot it from your wrist like a regular piece of equipment it goes to a specific point in the world and then it just attracts anything that's in the radius. But it attracts everything into a singularity point which means that if you get caught in that stasis field you're going to be stuck in a single point not being able to move being a very easy target. Now, I would never see this stasis field ever being put into the ranked or competitive experience, much more of a social thing. Could be great for potential when it comes to custom games and seeing what forgers can come up with that type of item being added into the sandbox. But in the multiplayer, I can see this being rather frustrating, a very powerful piece of equipment, almost acting like a power up in a way, like you replace the camo or overshield with a stasis field. And from the leaked video, you can hold multiple stasis fields, but that can easily change from balancing and map design. And talking about classic gameplay experiences coming into Halo Infinite, I recently made a video showcasing that these people remade Assault on the Control Room in Halo Infinite. If you guys want to check out that video? Click on this video right here. Thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.